Hello guys, see you again. This is Tina. My channel name is called M uh, Miss X I N G. If you like my video, please subscribe. And if you have any question about the Spring MVC, you can leave a comment. I will answer your questions. And uh, this is the fourth video about bin validation, how to integrating uh, with the Spring MVC. And uh, in my last video, I made a mistake, which when we talk about uh, date time formatter, in that video, there is a setting um, which calls it doesn't work with local date. Let me show you what I did before, which is here. I using lowercase for mm, and then I using capital case for dd, and uh, I deploy it, and you see the exception in my previous video. This is not a correct uh, uh, representation for the month and the date. That's why it doesn't work. Okay, let me show you the error first, then I change it to be the correct one. It will not work perfectly, okay? Uh, I have to go to the user ad, right? Because I don't have a welcome page for the slash user ad. And now when I, uh, when I type this one, birthday A, and select one, street, fill, uh, this one using RA, and zip code, when I click, you will see this exception, you know, this one, unsupported field minimum and hour, and uh, failed to convert. The reason is not uh, that data time format this annotation doesn't support, okay. I have, you have to use in capital M and uh, lowercase dd, okay. Then let me re redeploy. Okay, deploy successfully, and then I go back using add, and uh, I was using exactly I typed before. Okay, a birthday exactly same, nineteen DBA Street state is IA zip code. Click, it works. The course is just the pattern here. I didn't follow the standard, and sorry for that. So uh, the main goal of uh, this video is to externalize those messages. I'm not gonna go do for all of them. I just show you some, then I'm gonna, um, what? Then I'm gonna uh, do it. Then if you understand what I show you, then you can do all others, okay? Uh, the first thing I did is I removed the message in the size, I also remove the message for the not now on age. I also remove the message for the not blank. Uh, let me show you from start. Okay. Let me show you from start. Okay. This is the starter code. Okay. And I'm gonna remove this message. Let me remove one more. Uh, not now. And one more in address show different cases, okay? And I remove them. I'm gonna redeploy and uh, let's see the error message what's gonna be, okay? Deploy successfully. We go back and we go to slash add. And I click add. You will see here also has uh, the error messages. You see here, in my size size for the name, I don't specify the error message, right? But when you will go to the browser, you will see here size must be between two and thirty. I didn't set it anywhere. And again, let's go back to see this age. Not now. I didn't set any message. But actually, when I go here, you will see this age. You say must not be now and another thing let's go to here this street i didn't say anything right but on the page 
you are six street it is shows not must not be blank so where are they seated since we add a dependency called uh, in our poem uh, we have a dependency called a hibernate validator and when you took took a look at the jar files you go to external library it will show all the library added for your project you find this hibernate validator and it already has a default message set for all the annotations okay and also it has a, it has a localization for uh, particular countries okay let me show you go here go here go to validator and you see here validation messages here is all the language supported and by default it's gonna be the English okay let's take a look at this one and you can search for uh, not now see here Java constraint not now the message is must not be now that's why in your age age you see must not be now and let's take a look at this not blank okay not blank you see not blank see here not blank must not be blank that's why here you see must not be blank and another one is uh, size right or size here size it will have size must be between minimum and maximum minimum and maximum is uh, you configure the here 2 and 30 that's why inside your page you see size must be between 2 and 30 so if you don't configure anything spring is gonna using a uh, hibernate it's gonna retrieve a hibernate default error message for you and it's part inside uh, these uh, applic jar files okay and you can uh, i only know sorry i only know chinese okay and you can see the chinese because it's not a utf-8 so it's using the it's, you cannot see actually the chinese letters and this is also the english this one will refer to this english and this this is french right i don't know anything I, anyway we're gonna skip this one okay to customize the error message i already show you one you can do here there's another one which is you put your error messages like uh, what happened i do inside uh, the uh properties files oh, so now let me show you one by one okay first thing is uh, here you config the messages okay if you want to use externalized you're using this thing using the brace and you give any key you want suppose here i call abc okay and for this not now i using message and i using uh what's the thing oh sorry using, how about uh, you have to using brace when using brace this is gonna be the key but if we directly give a string then it's gonna be whatever displayed on the page okay if uh how about uh, uh not now dot h okay and in the address we give another one called a message and we give uh we have to use a code first like called address dot street okay and after you have a key then you have to give the value right and how to give the value the value is inside your properties file we create a file and it's under the resources let me show you one more time okay in the main you have a resource folder and you put your error message properties file here let's say error message dot messages dot properties okay okay well here's how much okay here you put your key and the value pair the key gonna be abc and you can using uh, size of a name must between between b t w t w e e n okay between 2 and 30 right 2 and 30 and another one is this one which is this one not another edge 
and not another age age must be greater than 18 okay and last one is this one which is a dress that a street just a street a uh, street cannot be blank okay and you have the say um, probably spot ready the next step is to do the configuration tell spring where to find those uh, error messages right so in the spring MVC configuration uh, here I'm gonna copy a little bit because it's too long I couldn't remember okay I'm gonna copy a little bit so let me copy here and explain first thing is you define uh, the message resource okay message resource is to tell spring how to find these messages okay and here you can using reloadable resource bundle message you can also using resource bundle uh, message source the difference is one you have to add the prefix class path the other one you don't need to add so here i config base name is called error messages which match this properties file name error messages error messages okay second one you have to come Define a bin, a validator bin. This is your validator bin, and uh, in the validator bin, if you want, if you're using error message, which is externalized error message properties file, you need to refer here. For this validator, you're using this message resource, which is this one. Uh, next one is you have to configure to tell Spring to using this validator which is similar to when we talk about the formatter, we also need to config uh, for conversion service, right? So here, how to register it? In the MVC annotation driven, you have a validator. The key, the value, the key is validator, the value is the validator, okay? And uh, we have everything set up. Now I'm gonna redeploy and show you if everything works, okay? Okay, deployed successfully, and now I have to go back to our browser. Fresh. Okay, click add. You will see size of a name must be between two and thirty, which is what we configured here, right? And you have uh, uh, age must be greater than eighteen, which is what we configured here. And you have we have another one street cannot be blank, which is also configured here. So next thing, probably you don't like this because the between two and thirty is hard coded. If I change the value here, I also need to change the value here, right? So do we have another way to tell Spring automatically retrieve this value and this value? Yes, it has. There's something called a placeholder. Placeholder will start with zero, okay? If you have a zero, this zero will represent this variable name, which means name, okay? And then two, one. 2 will represent the value 2 and this 1 will represent the value of 30 the reason why because uh, let me have a comment here okay mean equals 2 maximum equals 3 probably you're gonna think about between should be between one and two right it's not because spring organize those placeholder based on the alphabetic order and the maximum max if you're sorting max and mean this a is gonna be placed 
get four minimum, right? If you're doing ascending order, then in the map, you're gonna be like, like, like this way, right? For the key, this max and the min. This is uh, smaller than this one, right? So that's why if you want to retrieve value 30, you have to using one. If you want to retrieve value two, you have to using two because the maximum plays before minimum, okay? And then if we want to retrieve the age, when you're using zero, the zero will represent age, this variable, age. And then if we want to change this one, using zero. You will be surprised what's the value here. Let me show you, okay? Okay, deploy successfully. I'm gonna go back to here, the browser, and I click. You will see, size of name must be between two and three, but the name, this n is a lowercase. Why? Because zero represent exactly this variable name. Okay, that's why it's lowercase. And you, you can see the age. Age. See here, age must be, be greater than 18. This a is a lowercase because it's going to directly grab this variable name. And the surprise comes, okay? Surprise comes. See here. The address you will by default zero will represent ADDR dot street. What does it mean? You're gonna represent ADDR dot street. You're gonna represent ADDR dot street. That's a default value for the placeholder for zero. We don't want that we, we, because it looks ugly. It's a fine for probably fine for name and age. It's really not good for address, right? So how to customize? Customize zero is uh, name, right? So you're using name. Name is name. Name. Suppose we customize to user name and age. This age key is the variable name, age. Age equals using capital H. And for this street, you can only directly use street here. Doesn't work. You have to start with user. You have to use ADDR.street. ADDR.street equals, let's use address street, okay? And that's it. And let's deploy and see. Deploy successfully. Go back to the browser. Enter. And when I click, ooh, everything works. See here? Your, your name customized with uh, your name. Your age is customized, your street is customized. Are you good with this one? Very good. And uh, I think after this three demo of externalize the, the external error message, you can, be, you can also do the birthday uh, minimum role by yourself, right? And if you don't know how to do that, let me know, okay? Leave a comment below. Next one, since we are talking about the message here, I will teach you another thing, which is called a spring tag. And this will be actually, we are also talk about during the international internationalization. Here, in our page, in our page, we had coded this value, we had coded this value. When we do internationalization, if you want to uh, display Chinese for other new user, then you have to create another JSP page. This is against DRY principle, which you do not repeat yourself, right? Because except this, uh, 
how to code your text, all other places is the same. So how to do that is you can do is uh, here using spring tag. Uh, let's use in spring, which is uh, tags, okay? And uh, you can replace this one with uh, spring message. And you can give a code. This one code is to looking for the key inside the properties file, okay? Suppose here I give a key, which is uh, user form dot title. You can use an add a new user. Then I will using another one, which is uh, this one. Suppose I change this one, okay? User dot name, okay? I give a key user dot name equals what? Equals user name, okay? And let me do another one. Suppose email, email, okay? Email. You can using key user dot email equals email. Let me add this one, okay? Add this one, add this one, good. And uh, in the, go back to the uh, user prof, uh, user form GSP, how do that? Using spring message, spring message, the code will be referred to the code. See here, the automatic user form title, okay? Okay, and for this username, you're using spring message code equal, uh, sorry, 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 code equal, equals what? User dot username. And I also has another one, right? Spring message code, code equals, oh my God, why do you like this way? equals user dot email okay and the birthday in my practice file I don't have a birthday set up okay but uh, I wrote a code like this for the birthday I replace it with spring message and the code I'm uh, using user dot birthday okay I don't know how, and you can see it's already uh, red. Let me deploy it and see what's gonna happen, okay? Those th those th this one and this one, this one, it can resolve successfully, but let's see what's gonna happen for this one because I don't have a user.birthday in my properties file. Deploy successfully. Now let me go back to the page, refresh. Yes, that's what we expected. So you scroll down, you can see no message found the code found on the code birthday user dot birthday with the default locale, right? Because I don't have you what you can solve is you add this key, there's another option. You can give a text which is my birthday. What does this one do? This one means if you cannot find this key in the properties file, it's gonna using the text value as a place, okay, as a replacement. We deploy. Okay, good. And now let's go back to the browser and uh, refresh. It works, and you can see it using my birthday. Okay, so it's better when using Spring message you provide the default one because sometimes as a human we make a mistake. But if you use intelligent, you will directly know. Okay, you don't have a key. Okay, and another last one I want to show you in this video is see here the properties file. Yes, I have an error message, which means this. Property file should only for display error message, but those things are not for the error message. So we always talk about separation of concerns. Here is the same. 
uh, we should separate this message with this message, right? So you can do is yes, you add another file called the messages dot properties file, okay? And then we I just copy this one inside the message about properties file. And uh, after doing that, you still need to change the configuration because currently your configuration only recognizes error messages. How to make you have to make sure to recognize both of them. How do that? Change this one to be base names, and then you can config for another one. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, then here using messages. Okay. Here, MSHGS, yes. okay, okay, messages. Here, you change using base names and uh, you using both of them. Okay, now let me run. Then I can clear the cache to show you it actually works. Okay, clear data and remove this one. And then I'm gonna go and refresh. And add, you will see those are also resolved, and uh, those are also resolved, right? My birthday username, and also add a new user is also resolved. So, this is the uh, video for that's it for this video and we talk about how to externalize your error messages how to configure for the error message key values what are the placeholders how to customize the default value for placeholder zero and also talk about the spring tag and which is we are due for the internet internationalization. Actually, I'm gonna upload the other videos about internet internationalization. Sorry for my pronunciation. And uh, that's it. If you have any question, you can uh, make a comment. And if you like my video, please click like. And uh, if you don't want to missing any of my video, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you and see you next time.